Hello, 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 everyone, to a very special episode of Sims Escape the Night Reunited, where we will recap and review things that had happened on season one of Sims Escape the Night. I'm your host, Carlos Cuellar, uh, writer, creator, director, um, philanthropist, and executive producer of Sims Escape the Night. Yeah. And this is my cast. Hey y'all, I'm Latro and I played the Hermit. Follow me on IG at Latro Casey or whatever. Hello, my name is Stacy and I play the Explorer, which is why you can easily tell that Carlos did a good job of putting me the character of the Explorer because I kind of look like Dora, but let's not talk about it. Hey, my name's Eleanor. And I'm your reigning champion of Sims Escape the Night. Because I'm the captain. My name is Adam, as everybody knows and loves because I was stolen off the show. I'm doing fantastic. I played as the inventor and for some reason the main protagonist. Hello, my name is Celine. I was the Aztec princess. Did I still know why, but I was. <laughs> As y'all can tell, Celine's audio never got better. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Celine's shitty audio. I love that Celine is still consistent with the horrible audio. The first question is, who had the worst audio and why was it Celine? Celine's microphone always be sounding like she cooked it in the damn microwave five minutes before recording. <laughs> Celine's audio. Ugh, that's my favorite part of season one. The fact that I had to edit out so much so much good parts of Celine's character were edited out because of her audio. And I didn't want the audience to go through with that because the audio was already bad as it was. Carlos really said Celine's audio. Uh like okay. <laughs> All right. Fuck you guys. Y'all you know what? Y'all deserve to die. That's what happens. Y'all deserve to Celine, you die too, but let's not talk about that. Anyways, Celine was so shitty, everyone was literally bashing at her to like fix it. Because she needed to fix it. She needs to. Well, I personally don't understand why Celine has terrible audio. I've never gone through something like that. And I don't think I should talk about her experience. Because that's cultural um, something. Yeah. Did Latrell just call us calling out Celine's shitty audio cultural appropriation? I called it cultural something, Eleanor. Not you trying to... No. Don't, don't do that. Let's not, let's not do that. Is that not what you were trying to say? I mean, you just be taking people's races from them all the time now. Like, what's the, what's your deal, Latrell? Talk about how Eleanor isn't black, Latrell. Talk about your little theory. I can't do this today. No, you guys, please. I would never take anybody's race from them. Please don't believe her. <laughs> Eleanor, I can't snatch your race. You're white! <laughs> the silence, the silence of the, you're white! It's alright though, because I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> alright, our first question is, how did it feel to be oppressed by Carlos during production? I didn't necessarily feel oppressed by Carlos, but I am being oppressed by Latrell, okay? Okay, you need to stop <laughs> before I call the police! Oppressed? Girl, you're white! You don't even know what systemic racism is. You couldn't experience racism if it slapped you in the face. White woman. <laughs> Latrell, spell systemic. Spell systemic. Please. Not a Carlos assuming I can't spell systemic because I'm black. Uh, have you know, I have a high school degree. And I work at Ross. Yeah, I know my shit. Our next question is, how much systemic racism was in the filming of Sims Escape the Night? We're always questioning uh, Eleanor's race, but let's question Latrell's. Latrell, name one spice other than lemon pepper. Eleanor, since you white now, use your, uh, what the fuck are you called? White supremacy type of shit. I don't know what the fuck they called it. I forgot what it was, but use it. You know, I pride myself on having a cast that's very diverse, you know six out of the ten people in the cast are gay or like lgbt and then everyone's people of color except maddie so i feel like it's very diverse but apparently i have two people who are doing blackface and are actually heterosexuals latro and eleanor what's good ah watch i'm gonna use my white privilege to put you in jail because that's where you're gonna go fuck with me jail to jail 
Don't pass go. Don't collect two hundred dollars. You go to jail. Um, other than lemon pepper, are you assuming black people you know about lemon pepper chicken wings from wings? Stop. Garlic, pepper, salt, arsenic, paprika. Thank you. Shut the fuck. Did you say arsenic? Arsenic is it a? F arsenic is something you use to kill people. Something about. Y'all eliminating Eleanor and I's race and sexuality is very racist. Only I can call her white. Me. Latrell, garlic what? Cause just garlic is not a seasoning. Latrell's releasing demons. He's releasing demons and I just suffered the pit of it. Latrell. Are you sure you're not white? Oh no, no, no. We're we're not just gonna skate past the fact that he just called garlic a seasoning like garlic like garlic cloves a seasoning garlic powder garlic salt garlic pepper garlic and lemon pepper like like y'all don't even know me for real i'm black if you black my shit sound <laughs> Eleanor, it's cause garlic is a seasoning, bitch. Have you never had like the little, the little garlic things that they do? I forgot what they call it, but it's like little paprika, but garlic. Celine, I'm about to get on your ass. So watch it. Shut up, you white morsel spawned. Okay, garlic lemon pepper is not real. Okay, okay. I will not. This is me using my white privilege. Be mad. And if you tell me to shut up again. I will call the authorities. Not the white privilege girl. She played her cards. Okay, Miss Day. Call the authorities. I ain't scared of the popo, huh? Call the authorities. I ain't scared. It's not the police you gotta be afraid of. It's the sheriff. <laughs> you know me. I got their number on speed dial. So try me. Try me, bitch. Try me. I can picture Eleanor doing that pose where she's stopping her feet. And she's like, try me with her hands like on her hip. I don't know where the fuck did you run to at the end. Try me. <laughs> okay, you win. You're black. If you want to be black that bad, Eleanor, you can be black. But can Maddie be black? Can Maddie be black? <laughs> Carlos, wait. I can't believe you have the audacity to ask if Maddie can be black. Okay, we're all aware that Eleanor is actually a black woman. Maddie is literally Caucasian. A white gal. The audacity. Oh my god. Okay, but Maddie wasn't even there almost all the time. Dude, the first episode, and she was already absent. <laughs> Boot. Dude, like she was missing throughout it all. Oh my god, I hadn't even realized that Maddie's not even here. Let's talk about the four people who aren't here right now. Uh, Maddie, Luis, Mark, and Jimmy all declined our offer to say their piece tonight. No one ever realizes Maddie's not here, because that's exactly what she is. Non-existent. Very much ghost. For some reason, Maddie gained a bunch of personal gain and followers and cash on her one 12 minute appearance in episode one, so she's probably at the spa right now. I honestly think that Maddie didn't even mean to like volunteer to be on the show i think she did it on accident and then she just went with it like oop stacy now how do you accidentally volunteer for a show wait until it's ready to be filmed show you know what okay girl no because i was excited to see maddie to be on the cast of this show but because i worked with maddie before we went to a competition together and we won like semi-finals so i was like yay i can like I i'll be here comfortable because there's maddie then there's carlos and stacy and Celine and the other people and then she just never showed up i i don't think i ever heard a single word out of her so I was genuinely surprised in the first episode release that she actually spoke. For real, I thought Maddie was going to play like a, a very, very significant role in this season because of her acting chops, you know? But then she just wasn't there. I thought she would be more sweet. You get me? Like she'll be like the mom of the group. Like she'll always be there and give you snacks. I don't know. That's what I thought Maddie would be. Okay, okay. But Maddie might have been in the show for the total of maybe two minutes. But still, 
she had more of a character arc than Mark, who was in there for about three hours and a half, give or take, by episode seven. Like, she was a little more entertaining than Mark. No, because Mark didn't have one single good moment. It was giving stagnant. It was giving paralyzed. It was giving... Y'all heard that? Nothing. That's what it was giving. Oh my god, where the fuck is Mark so I can fight him because i literally did nothing to him but here he was trying to spit lies trying to trying to make me look bad until my final moment so i have i have beef to pick with him and i'm a fucking vegetarian really, really yeah. he's not coming because he has more important things to do apparently here's the here's the thing though i didn't even talk about mark if i'm gonna be honest i didn't even know who the fuck he was until episode until the episode where I died in because I just had no clue who he was. I didn't pay attention to him. He was very unimportant to me. And and by the time I did meet him, he was on my tail. And for what? I wasn't doing anything. Like, for what? So, Mark is, um, let's see, what's, what's the, it's garbage, garbage, very bad, um, for just dragging me down for no reason. Murderer. I don't want to drag Mark's name through the dirt. But that man did not sit right with me from the day, like, I met him. The moment I heard his voice, there was something off. And I usually don't dislike people. I even dislike Mark, but I definitely don't rock with him. Honestly, Mark was really sweet with me. If you guys treat him nice, that's the thing. You get me? This face is giving very much <laughs> school shooter. Look at me. You're not like this. No, Stacy, no. Mark was literally Let me be quiet. Let me okay, no, I'm not trying to defend him. I just see like both sides like you know, cuz I still remember the time that he saved me. So but I can tell I can from your guys how you're telling me like he was kind of like a bad friend for you guys. We have a Mark defender. Is there another any other Mark defenders in the audience? No, just Stacy. Okay, Stacy, let me enlighten you. Mark was extremely messy, especially the last episode he filmed. He left the group chat several times because he didn't want to film anymore, and he was supposed to originally be the winner, and then it had to be Latrell. So, yeah, he's not the vibe. I stopped liking Mark when he started to pretend like I didn't do shit for him. Wait, who's Mark again? Yeah, next question. Stacy stays defending people that all of us shit on. She's gonna talk about Lu Luis now. She's like, I just think Luis was not in the right headspace, and that's why he didn't show up to three of the four episodes that he was in. That's that's all I. That's that's what I think. That, that, but y'all y'all stay safe. Lies. I didn't know because I honestly think that Luis should have died, and Adam to be alive. That's all I wanted. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you. Okay, okay, let's talk about Luis. We're gonna talk about Luis for a second. Because people, like, genuinely liked Luis in the first few episodes that people are watching. I see in the comments that people- I see people talk about it all the time, how they like Luis, his character. They're like, why is everyone bullying Luis? Why is the cast bullying Luis? Here's why we were bullying Luis, because he wasn't there! He wasn't there for three of the four episodes! That's why we were bullying him and constantly voting him in. Luis was like an absent father that you just could not get rid of. He was not there, but he's there. Like, he was like an absent father. He said, I'm gonna go get the milk. And when he came back, we were already 20 years in our fucking <laughs> CEO position. And he was just there. We couldn't get rid of him. I think we all wanted Luis to be dead, but I guess he was a favorite by a certain someone who plays God. God always has his favorites. Carlos favorite is a straight man. Okay, y'all better stop saying I was, I was, because I'm God. Uh, okay, I, there was things that I could control at certain times, but I couldn't control everything all the time. We voted Luis in the bottom every single time. It's not my fault that he, he won the death challenges. The death challenges are fair. I don't control them. There's a winner and there's a loser most of the time. Um, and I never favored Luis. Luis just survived. I voted Luis sometimes too. I don't know why y'all say I'm favoring Luis. I wanted Luis gone since episode two because I wanted Jimmy to stay. No, no, because the audience is, this is, I told y'all this, this is what was going to happen though. He was going to be seen as a bad guy because they were not inside of the show with us. And also he's a straight attractive man. Like, come on. He was going to get, he was going to get the victim role. Let's, let's, let's real. I agree with Latrell because people were like, oh, like, 
I want they wanted other people like they wanted us to be eliminated and not Louise. Like I think I saw one comment that was like, I swear to God, if Louise died or blah 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 blah. And I'm like, bro, if you were in the group chat, you would know what he was like. Absent. He didn't do shit. That's what sucks. We are the villains in my own show. <laughs> How did all of us, the, the gay, our extremely diverse cast of gay, people of color, p uh, non, -bi uh, non people who are tr trans, we ended up being the villain to who? The heterosexuals, Maddie and Luis. How did this go down? How did I allow this to happen? No, because Carlos had to release an episode where a straight man was talking in a British accent at the same year where everybody was simping for a 16-year-old British man. Like, he played the system, and this is what we did. To play on Adam's absent father role. <laughs> that Luis participated in. He was there for, like, Father's Day and his birthday for them gifts. <laughs> but then gone every other day of the year and even in the challenges you can obviously see him not do anything like he's standing off to the side in every single one of the challenges and you're wondering why we don't like him why we want to vote him off why he needs to die that's why i made episode five the way it was because i was almost a hundred percent sure that he was going to get past episode four which was another fair challenge and i was like i need to get rid of him that's why i set up the elimination for episode five the way it was but then Luis died episode four so then i i forgot to change it so we ended up with that and then i was like oh shit now i'm in the bottom because i'm the least liked of the group now exactly like eleanor gets it like Luis would show up on thursday and he'll be like where's my where's where's my gift kiddo and then when you give him his gift he's like oh wow is this a new watch i can sell this for money and just dipped and he and we never see him until next year no because with Luis, every challenger would be crickets. He wouldn't be doing anything. And everybody was like, Luis, why are you dying, Luis? Luis, the type of dad to come back because he knows that the, uh, what's it called, the CPS checks will come in and be like, hmm, let's go for some ice cream, kiddo. Takes all of us to the car, and we took a wrong turn, and now here we are. The type of dad to access kids for drug money. Are we projecting? Why? <laughs> Okay, daddy issues. Maturing is realizing that Louise was not the victim. Okay, anyways, moving on, we have three more topics to cover. Number one, Miss Congeniality. We had a little competition before the season even aired where we voted on who are... We had two picks. The first pick was worth two points and the other was worth one. And it was whoever we thought was the most congenial in the group. And the winner of that is... Latrell! Woo! Yeah! Get your reward! Your reward is you get the title, and that's all we have. I would like to thank the gays, my family, and everyone who voted for me. Thank you so much. Much love. No, no, but seriously, I was not expecting this award. Thank you guys so much. And everyone who voted for me, you guys are real ones. Um, thank you for making me French Vanilla fan favorite fantasy or whatever the fuck Valentina said. Um, much love. Okay, and the second topic we need to cover is season two of Sims Escape the Night. Yeah, we're confirmed for season two. And I made this little trailer for you guys to watch and enjoy. And we get to discuss the cast of season two. Play the tape. to come through the brave let's play some basketball good luck good luck good luck and i don't remember who any of the cats were i just know that it was nobody who i knew i am rooting for my giraffe and my bestie okay i know ari's there so i'm kind of rooting on ari bitch you better win i personally think season two is gonna smack uh I feel like I'll go through some character regression, not progression, because I'm here to get worse, not better. Carlos, why are you so obsessed with the past, with like the fact that 90% of your 
cast can just get fucking killed for walking down the street like what's going on for real carlos your controlled settings are not very controlled not 90 percent of my cast uh adam only 70 percent because remember eleanor and latrell are both white individuals both caucasian that's what your eyes get latrell um for season two cast members i wish you luck um good luck solving the puzzles Go like dealing with Carlos's problematic big fat ass. <laughs> I'm kidding, Carlos. You're not problematic. Um, but yeah, good luck, y'all. I hope we're still the OGs, and people will just think, "Oh, the season one is better." You know, I want I want to hear that. But of course, gotta just you know be like, "Oh, yeah, season two was not that bad," you know. But season one though was. Uh, cherry the cherry cherry on top of the ice cream i think what stacy wants to tell season two the season two cast members is don't forget y'all place we're better than y'all at the end of the day much love though but we're better than y'all okay uh i just want to thank the cast from the bottom of my heart because if without you the show wouldn't happen and y'all slayed and I just gotta humble myself because yes did i produce and write some things and create the show well i didn't create the show but like did i do everything yes but did you guys participate yeah and that's why i thank you guys and kisses this is the ending of our season in carlos i just want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to be on this show and to be all these wonderful people I'll never forget you guys. <laughs> All right, get the cameras for real, like for real. Okay, wrapping things up. Wrapping things up. What does everyone want to say? Um, I want to say um, the show was great. I loved it. If you didn't love it, you can shut the fuck up because I worked a whole year on it and I thought it was great. I thought the cast did an amazing job. I thought the voice actors were amazing. You know what? Was it in, was it phenomenal? It was my first thing. Okay, and I loved it. Not to sound so mean, but literally, you sound like if you were yawning and talk at the same time. <laughs> Stacy, for real, I'm crying. All I wanted to say is that if you didn't believe in me, fuck you. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Bitch, I won. Okay, that's it. Um, no, but for real, that was that was great. It was it was awesome meeting all of you guys. And if I could do this all over again, I would. Thank you for this opportunity and good night. Ah. Okay, last statements. Um, follow my TikTok, follow my Instagram. Subscri subscribe to my channel follow me on twitch everything's the same name so don't even worry about it like just search me up um and follow me on roblox because i want to be popular there because for some reason people get paid if you get a bunch of followers and yes just follow me and that's it all right guys um this is the last you see of me. Um, probably, if you follow my Instagram, then you won't see the last of me. You'll see more of me. It's um, Stacy with two, uh, three M's, and my name is actually spelled with an S T A C E Y. Um, have a great rest of the day. Have a great rest of the night. Uh, hope you sleep well. I guess. <laughs> Um, I would say goodbye, but you'll probably see me next August when I come emerge from the ocean like Mariah Carey with season two. Yes, bitch, I am in two seasons. I never die. Anywho, um, follow the cast. All of their ads will be in the description below, hopefully, if I do it right. And I'll probably put the, the voice actors too, because they deserve to be followed too. And um, if you like the show, I like you. If you didn't like the show, uh, shut the fuck up talk shit get hit peace love and all of the above season one oh